Hi all, Henry Lynch here, and today I have Bertie. Uh, Bertie is... He's, he's a nice guy, he's got a bad rap for the way he looks, but, you know, he's, he's nice. Well, why do you treat him like that? Anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, so this is a process I use for creature design mostly currently, uh, but I can see myself using it for a number of different uh, reasons. So you can see I start with a really loose, really rough sketch uh, where I'm... It's the sort of very basic design um, of what I'm going for. Um, and I usually try and use the sketch to place the skeletal aspects of the creature or whatever. Um, so that when I'm blocking in the large uh, color forms, I'm just painting on skin and muscle um, and other things. It, it sort of makes sense in my head whilst I'm painting and I'm just like laying this over the base that I've created um, and it helps when creating all the, all the forms as accurately as I can. Um, so this, I, I, I didn't plan to do this, uh, or specifically this, I planned to do a creature, but uh, obviously this has turned out slightly weird, uh, <laughs> but uh, I hope you like it, it's a bit, a bit creepy, uh, which is why I gave it the name Bertie, because it uh, <laughs> seems slightly less creepy when you call it Bertie. Um, but so you can see, for the most part, I'm not I'm not going for I'm not painting in details really drastically, especially not at this stage. So you'll see I'm I'm starting very big, and then working as as time goes on, I'm just working my way inwards to very small, and I only get to very small near the end, um, and not even so much. Um, is uh, obviously like I've blocked in most of the big forms with just large paint strokes then I moved to medium I sort of had a few teeth the eye um, there's some uh, fleshy area around the mouth um, and I, I'm genuinely just trying to get the the, the forms um, extruding forms so pushing them up and outwards with lighter colors and using dark colors to push the form further down or inwards. Uh, those are basic rules of creating form. Um, and I, I like to use a sort of hatching effect. So I'm, with my brush, a lot of the time I'm not doing like, I'm not holding down my pen and just doing large strokes. I'm doing little tap strokes. So like stroke, stroke, stroke. Uh, to to create a sort of grid line effect with my paint strokes and what that does is it creates a uh, a little bit of an illusion of texture um, a lot of this I blur out to 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 blend it together um, and to to increase the look of the form a bit um, but there are there are areas where you want to keep some of that that hatched texture, where it just adds a little hint of uh, reality to the to the skin or wherever you're applying it. Um, so yeah, it's really weird. I'm sorry, it's <laughs> it's a bit of a weird thing, bit of a sort of shark looking creature with a horn pushing through some membrane or something <laughs> I don't know you tell me what it is in the comments um, here you can see I'm, I'm splashing on some color which makes it look like there's sort of something underneath which is nice but the, the problem was I was just going with a for the most part just blue and it was a bit boring so um, add in some splashes of color always nice I like to vary my color obviously some animals in the real world you have for the most part, they're, they're one color, which is fine, but there's always going to be some variation uh, in the color, some hue variation and such. Um, and I like to add a bit of that, so it just adds a bit of reality. If you just stick with one color and you're just changing the value, it's uh, it's going to look really boring. And you see, for the most part, at the beginning, that's actually what I'm doing. 
uh, but it's helpful just using that to create forms and then you can add whatever afterwards it's very easy to add to it um, so yeah I mean I hope you like it it's it's Bertie after all um, so by the end what I don't show I stopped recording when I finished the painting um, and then uh, you'll see the image shown at the end is ever so slightly different to the uh, one by the end of the video and all that is because is I uh, used a levels layer to bump up contrast just just a smidge not too much um, just wanted to add a little more oomph to the image um, I think I darkened the background slightly so it wasn't so in your face or maybe I've already done that I can't tell um, and then as you'll see here I obviously added uh, the title Bertie uh, and my name and email information uh, which I've started doing recently uh, mainly because I think it looks really smart which is nice obviously um, and it also you know when I'm posting these online uh, on my social medias <laughs> link below uh, it, it lets people know who I am the title of the piece which in this case is a bit silly but there you go uh, and also much smaller but if someone wants to get a hold of me they can find that there um, uh, yeah just something simple it's kind of like a business card uh, for an artist you know makes sense so anyway I hope you liked it if you did leave a like if you didn't leave a dislike um, I'd love some feedback um, if you have anything to mention then leave that in the comments and I will see you in the next one Bye.